Warning, this video contains mature content such as strong language, graphic stupidity, and attempts or scary moments that is not suitable for younger viewers. Viewer's discretion is advised. You know, Demo, it's been a long time since we had our free time, but it's fun playing Uno with you. I know, right? I can't even remember the last time we had our free time when Captain Spy is in Planet Blue Tark for a meeting with our leader. I just hope that Captain Spy will be alright and just get a talking to for our failures to get that crystal. What do you think, Demo? In my honesty, I don't see the point of having our leader go easy on the captain. We failed our missions many times, so I don't see why bother just thinking about it. Are you thinking of betraying our captain and leaving the Blue Army, Demo? As your friend, I don't think that's a smart idea to do that. You're literally sending a death wish on yourself if you betray the blue team. Of course not! I'm just saying we can get a new captain and just move on. I may be drunk, but I'm not that dumb to betray the blue army. But enough talking for now. Let's just play Uno and forget this conversation. No! Oh! Well, looks like Captain Spy is back for the meeting. Time to open the doors and get back to work. Attention everybody, Captain Spy is... Oh no. Holy Mother of God, it's not the Captain. It's our leader from Planet Blutar. Why is he here? Our leader? Here? here. What the, the hell's, hell's going, going on? on? Did, Did something, something happen, happen with, with the, the Captain? captain? No, no, this, this can't, can't be right. right. This, this cannot, cannot be right at all. Just what, what in the hell is going on here? here? I know I, I said we needed, we needed a new Captain, captain. But, but is our leader replacing him? Hold on, fellas. Our leader looks seriously weird. It's like he has some sort of superpowers or some shit. Like a freak or something. Oh dear god, I think he hears me. And I think he sees me as well. Everybody get out of the ship as quickly as- ah! Oh, this is not good. Son of a cussing cussword! Demo Maddox soldier, what the hell is going on? What's with the alarm heavy whooping up from? I think our litter has been a red team spy all along. Not to mention a freak. We must find him and take him down before he takes over the ship and takes us down. Right then, let's get ready for battle and have our gear ready. There. That annoying alarm is off, so let's make sure that nobody will stop me from... Wait. The rest of the crew are still alive? This won't do at all. I won't let them stop me. Hmm. Looks like the security robots are still up and running. I'll just set them to defense mode and use them to get rid of those annoying humans. That might work to get them out of the way of my brilliant plans. Time to get these robots going, and end the crew once and for all. Once I end them, I'll take control of this ship and get to this crystal freak. Alright, is everybody ready to fight this freak? Yeah, gotcha! Ready! Ready! Alright then, let's get this freak spy and take back our ship. <laughs> Holy shit, man! Soldier bots and heavy bots surrounding us? We are screwed, man! Heavy believes that these are the security robots. That Freak Spy must have turned them on to slow us down from stopping him. Captain Demo Man and Soldier, what the hell do we do? Hey, yo, pause on the turning on part. And also, Heavy, why would Demo Man be the captain? Captain Spy is back at Planet Butar. So why not we just contact him and ask him to see what's going on? Shut the hell up, Baby Man Scout! Harry thinks that Demo Man is better at being a captain than spy. He sailed our missions many times, so Harry vote Demo Man as captain. Oh, for the love of Demo Man and Soldier, just what the hell are your orders since this fat, bald bastard said that you're the leaders here in this situation? You know what to do, Demo. Be a proud leader and give the orders. Hey! All right, guys, I got the plan. I'll disable the doors, and then you guys break both windows between us to escape from this area. Then we shall take cover over these ramps and counterattack the robots. The scout will take the left. The rest of us will take the right side. When I give the signal, we will get to the plan and fight back those robots. Attention all security robots! 
These men are wanted criminals and must be destroyed ASAP. Whatever you do, don't let them fool you all. Make sure that they are fully gone. Failure will result in robotic destruction. I repeat, failure will result in robotic destruction. So don't fail me, and destroy those men. Destroy them all. All right, then. You know the orders. Fire at will and destroy those humans. Make them pay. Make them all pay. <laughs> Everybody, open fire. No! All right, Demo. We got out of the area. Now what do we do? Now, we attack from behind these ramps. Soldier, you take care of those soldier box. Our heavy will take care of the heavy box. I'll have the two scouts to sneak attack the rest of the heavy box. So let's do this. Okay. Today ain't your day, pancakes. Come on! No! How can these robots be defeated? I sent the robots to ultimate defense mode and these humans still defeat them. This will take forever for more robots to be built in this ship. These robots are nothing but junk. Useless junk. Why would the captain have these robots? You know what? That is it. If the robots can't destroy them, then I'll do it myself. These humans are very skilled, but they are no match for my powers. I think it's time for me to meet these humans face to face. Besides, I think they'll be good as my crystal slaves rather than my meal. This will be very interesting for a meetup for me. Hell yeah! We kick these robot asses to pizzas! Now let's get out of here and celebrate our victory! Duh! I think I know a good bar back at Planet Plutarch. Let's get there and celebrate, my comrades! Now hold on, men! We can't celebrate just yet! We gotta take back our ship and call for help! Soldier is right! We can't relax until we're out of this situation. But, I have another plan. These robots will take forever to be rebuilt. So while these robots are being rebuilt, we will escape using the ship the freak came from. Demo, you do realize that Engineer is now dead because of that freak, right? How do we get out of here with nobody controlling the ship's hangar doors to outside? I'm getting to that, soldier. Since nobody is controlling the doors, one of us will stay behind and take control of the hangar doors to let us out. After that, the person who stays behind will signal for help to take back this ship and get rid of that freak. So, who will volunteer to stay behind? You know what? Screw this. I'm gonna do it. What? Are you sure you can do this, lad? Your mother will be upset if- I know, Devil Man, but I can't let this freak win. So you guys go on without me. I'll open the door and stay behind to stop this freak myself before he follows you all. Like hell you are! I'm not letting you fight this freak alone and get yourself killed. If you're gonna do this, then let me join in on this action so we can fight together! Son, there are things that won't go your way in life and even in battle. The plan will not work if you go with him. Besides, your mother will be upset if the freak gotten you and your friend. When I was your age in battle, I had to make hard decisions between life and death. It was hard for me, but I grew out of it within time. You will learn when you get older in life. But for now, enough talking about my past and about this moment here. We gotta get in the ship and get the hell out of here before that freak comes after us. But we needed your friend to open the door to outside for all of us to get out of here. So I just ask you say your goodbyes to him before we leave. So let's make this quick, okay? Alright, bro. If you wanna help us, then do what you gotta do. But how about a bro hug before we go? Just this last time. Alright, bro. Let's hug this out. I'm really gonna miss you, bro. I really am. I don't want you to go. I'll miss you too, bro. But stay strong for me while I'm gone, okay? I know you'll stay strong without me. <laughs> Now that is what I call a wholesome moment right there. A bromance moment that warms your heart. Am I right? Aye, it is nice. Heartwarming. I hate to interrupt this so-called bromance moment right here, but I'm afraid that you guys won't be going anywhere. You may defeat the robots with your skills and weapons, but you all won't have a chance to defeat me. But how about a deal? Either you surrender, and I'll spare your lives and make you as my crystal slaves and fight for me. Or... You can ignore my offer, and let me turn you into crystals and devour you all, just like I did with your pathetic captain of yours. I will suggest that you choose wisely for this offer. Either join me, or be devoured. You really think you can make us join you? We'll never join your freak army and worship you. We will whoop your ass and bring you down. You guys get to the ship. I'll take care of this freak bastard here. Are you sure you want to fight him alone, Scout? Yes, just get to the ship and wait till the hangar doors are open. I'll make sure that he won't get closer to you guys. Well, Scout, 
I can't stop you from fighting that freak. So we are counting on you to save us all. Don't fail us all, Scout. Don't worry, dumb man. I got my own plans to beat this bastard down. After I'm done with him, I'll open the doors and send the help signal. But before you guys go, tell my mom and dad that I love them. All right, lad. If you want us to step out of the way in this fight, then so be it. But let us know when you get overpowered by this freak and we will help you. But enough talking. I'll let you get ready for this fight. Everybody get to the ship and wait till the doors are open. Go, 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 go charge! You can, you can do this, this bro. bro. We, we are, are counting, counting on you to save us all. Just, just beat this, this bastard, bastard to pieces. pieces. So you're letting your friends go while you're fighting me. This will be an easy fight, considering you don't have an army. I do not need an army to beat you down, you shape-shifting rat. I don't care whether you're a freak or not. I won't let you get to my friends. If you want them, you gotta fight me first. A noble promise word, my friend. But let me show you my powers before we start this fight. Observed. <laughs> Do you see this power, human? I know you won't stand against me. You may have the bat sabers like I do now, but I have the powers to overpower you. You won't win this fight against me. However, your friends will not take my deal. So how about you? You may seem like a serious fighter. Within my eyes, I see you have some desires. So how about this? If you work for me and betray your friends, I'll make you my best mercenary there is, and I will grant you anything you desire. But if you decided to fight me, I will make it easy for you. So choose wisely. You wouldn't think I'm gonna betray my friends just for that? Screw you and screw your offer, you freak bastard! I'm gonna make sure that my friends are safe by kicking your ass! I don't care how strong you are, I won't lose to a freak like you! What?! Oh, so unwise of you to fight me. Well then. Time to say goodbye to your friends because you're my meal! Ah. Give it up, human! You will win against me! I am more powerful than you! So surrender now or die! Surrender to a freak like you? Never! You may think you overpowered me, but we scouts are pretty good in fights, whether we fight dirty or not. So I got you where I want you to be for my plan. What's the sound supposed to mean? Of course I overpowered you! You're just a useless human with no army! So just give it up already so I can end you quickly! Well, to put this shortly, your weak spot is wide open for an attack that will stun you. A weak spot? I don't have a- Like I said, though my ass, we scouts are good at fighting whether we fight dirty or not. I choose to fight dirty so I can stun you for the time being. So suck an egg, you shape-shifting wannabe freak rat! <laughs> How is this possible? He cannot defeat me! I am powerful, not him! When the pain goes away, he is so crystallized. All right, now to open the doors to let my friends go and get that freak out of this ship once and for all. I hope this plan works. All right, now that the pain has subsided, I'll be able to take care of that human pass. I'll make sure that he will suffer a slow, painful, crystallized death. Wait a moment, I have an idea. He's not guarding his friends, so I'll be able to get to them and crystallize him first. Then I'll crystallize that human pass. They will all suffer my wrath for not joining my army. However, I'll make his friends my crystal slaves whether they will like it or not. Then I'll turn that scout into a crystal and just devour him. Time to set this plan in motion and... Oh, man. Ah! Ah! Damn it! I've been fooled again! And worst of all, all of his friends are getting away! If I let go of the crystals I made, I'll float away into empty space! What am I gonna do? <sighs> Shit! The doors are closing! I can't get inside this fast at this rate! I gotta find another way inside this ship! There. That should do the job getting rid of that dumbass freak spy. Now to get to the control room and shut down the security system. Then I'll send the signal for help. Alright. I made it to the top of the ship where one of the airlock doors are at. This must be the other entrance and exit within this ship. Now to get inside and make that scout pay for what he have done to me. Besides opening the hangar doors to get me out of the ship. Wait! There is a security voice lock on the door. This should be easy since I am a spy and have the captain's memories. Since I devoured the captain in crystal form, I can have his form, his memories, and his voice. But since we are both spies, the voice will matter anyways. Hello. Please enter voice password to launch our airlock doors. Um, pour la France et pour Ami Blair. Password confirmed. Welcome back, captain. <laughs> <laughs> All right, the security robots are now offline. Now to send the help signal like this and there. That should do the trick. Now to wait for help and relax for a while. 
This should be easy since that freak spy is no longer in the ship. Did you forget about me? I know you're in there, Scout. You may have defeated me, but I will be defeated again. You may have declined my deal, so I'll give you one last chance to accept the deal. If you don't, then you'll be my crystal meal. There is no way to run and hide, so choose wisely, human. Shit! That bastard is here? How the hell did he get here? What am I gonna do? Wait, I'll just trick him when he gets here, and I'll quickly knock him out and tie him up and send him to the ship's break. What the hell? Where did that human go? That human cannot be serious of hiding. I know you're in here, I can sense you in this ship, and I will find you. Surprise, you dumbass moron! Well, that was a close call. I think I'll just wait here and just relax until... Aha! Found you! Now to turn you into my pistol hybrid slave, whether you like it or not! <laughs> Alright, finally, we made it back home. I can't wait to just get to a safe place for us to relax for a while. What do you lads think? Relax? After what we have been through? How can we relax at a time like this? Especially when we lost our friend to that freak. Don't you all feel upset about this right now? Scout, listen. Don't worry about him. He will be fine as long as that freak is at the emptiness of space. You seen that freak being thrown out of the ship from the hangar doors being opened? For now, just cheer up and hope for the best that the scout will be alright. So you were all wondering, was I supposed to be going to the HECU training facility? Well, yes. But let me explain this story about what is going on right now. The spy told me before I go in the training facility, I had to be recruited within the recruitment center. Since Soldin called the center about me, then they must be ready for me, since I'm technically now a freak that is in the good side. The spy also told me that a spy became the leader of the HECU Freak Fighter Division unit. Since the leader of the HECU from Magago gave him the job as the leader of the Freak Fighter Division unit, it's crazy to even think over the years I've been away. Things really changed a lot. Either way, this will be an interesting welcome for me. I'm right there. Identify yourselves, both of you. Do not worry, my friends. I am the spy of the HECU Transportation Department. This here is Dragon Hunter. He is here for a recruitment with the leader. Is that so? Well, you're bad citizen Oz, and it must be true. Come with me, Dragon Hunter. I will take you to the leader so you can talk with him about your recruitment. Sir, we have this guy here for the recruitment. You want me to check on him for anything? That won't be necessary. Soldin called me about this man, so I'll take care of this myself. You go back to your post in case an intruder gets within this recruitment center. That is an order. Alright, sir. But I assure you don't want me to stay in case this guy is some sort of freaker or anything. We must keep an eye on since that incident with that freak spy and all that. Can you just drop it already, you idiot? I already said to keep up the security, but not like this. And also, that is not your business anyways. So just get back to your post and let us alone. That is an order. So, Mr. Dragon Hunter, you are here for the recruitment within the Freak Fighter Division unit to use your powers for good? Yes, sir, that is correct. But what does he mean by Freak Spy? Did something happen here before I came here? In all honesty, yes. A spy who was also a freak came here last week and ended up stealing something valuable to us. However, let's not talk about that now. Let us get your recruitment papers ready. This way to my office. We have a lot of explaining to do. Damn, I can't believe our leader is now hiring new recruits. It's been years since we recruited a freak since the Crystal Wars. Can you believe it, man? By Crystal Wars, you mean the war that you're talking about it for the last year since you've been recruited here. Don't you think it's time to just drop the whole Crystal War thing and just move on? It's getting annoying and plus nobody here cares about it. Hey, all I'm saying that it's weird that it took this long for the leader to recruit more freaks in this freak fighter division unit. Also, bro, don't tell me what I can and can't say. It's really annoying when you are really bossy. <laughs> now then, before we get on with the recruitment, we must skip over the basics. Since you've been frozen in time, things have changed here, including the use of technology to fill out paperwork digitally. You mean I could just do this online now? Like on my computer or something? Well, yes and no. Thing is, you must use these hollow devices to sign up for recruitment. 
What I have in my hand is what you need to sign in to join. It may look like a smartphone or tablet from your time, but it's not. Huh. Things had really changed since I've been gone. These new technology are really cool. But what is the catch into signing up for the Freak Fighter Division Unit? Like, is there anything I need to know, like, if there's any training or not? Well, yes. Training is very important, especially because of your powers. Soling had told me what happened to your arm when you overused your powers. I think training will help you balance it out. Huh. I guess that makes sense. I guess I'll just sign in and just get on with the paperwork. What could possibly go wrong with this? Attention, an intruder is within the facility. All authorized personnel must report to lobby. Repeat, all authorized personnel must report to the lobby. Well, we shall continue this later. You stay here and be safe. I'll go check it out. Alright, you do your thing, man. Hold it right there, Jack Rod. The game is set in the and we will open fire. Do you understand? <laughs> ah, shit. Everybody open fire! <laughs> So, so, this intruder think, think he can get away with this. This, this won't, won't do. do. I may I have guards that will help me, but I'm more stealthy to attack, attack the intruder. I have, I have been in countless wars with battles, and, and nobody can defeat me. me. Many, Many of my enemies have fallen whenever I fight them. In the war, I was known as the quick shadow for my stuff. But I'm not talking about my past. I want to know who the hell got inside this time. Could it be that freak spy again? You stopped the case, and I'm ready for him this time. He may have escaped from the free prison, but he won't get past me when I meet him. So the intruder is a robot? This must be Greyman's plan. What kind of trick is Greyman up to now? Is he trying to destroy us again? This is getting old. I do not know what Greyman is up to, but I will let you destroy this place without a fight. I will make sure that you will- What the hell? Did that crystal came out of nowhere and pinned that robot? Who the hell? Oh, what, what the, the hell? hell? Where did, did Dragon, Dragon Hunter, Hunter came, came from? from? He, he should, should be at the... At the... Wait, 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 his, his body. body. He's, generating He's generating some, some sort, sort of powers around him. him. So, so they told me he had some sort of ancient powers, powers from the crystal, crystal freaks. freaks. But, but I, thought I thought he was, he was bluffing. bluffing. But, but now, I just don't believe this. This is impossible. The crystal freaks are long gone since the crystal wars. Could it be that he saved my life for that crystal? Well, I don't see anything fake with his powers. For example, he has a sword. Everybody knows that every heavy uses their fists or any glove melee weapons, but he does not. His eyes also change to a different color. His eye color are glowing in bright, as he is so very powerful. Could this be the power of the crystal freak like Solding told me about? This is remarkable. But I should still scold Dragon Hunter for getting out of the office without my permission since I told him to stay there. Dragon Hunter! I thought I told you to stay in the office and told it safe. Do you realize that? I know I should have listened to you, but if I didn't save you from that robot, you would have been dead from being that robot's target practice. I was only trying to help, you know. But that doesn't mean that you could... You know what? Never mind. I'm just glad you just saved my ass there. But I do believe that Great Man is planning to destroy us all with that robot. So, in other words, Great Man is still alive after all these years, or this is some sort of clone of him, or a relative of his from my timeline. Because I thought Grey Man is done after all these years. Well, it's a complicated thing, but we shall talk about that later when we... Uh, Spike, I hate to be the bad news bears around here, but I think the crystal light made dependent to the wall has worn off, and now he's really mad now. Oh, man. Don't worry, Spike. Let me get rid of this jerkwad robot. As soon as this bucket of bolts is done with, I'll make sure that this building is robot-free. <laughs> Dismissed. Holy shit! Who the hell is that scout? Where did he come from? That scout is known as a major scout guy. He is the most skillful and fastest of all the scout freaks within the Freak Fighter Division unit, especially with his modified scattergun. So his scattergun is modified? What kind of stuff he done to it? Well, he modified the ammo types, such as the taser ammo and other things, but mostly he is intelligent and fast. So this makes him the most skilled fighter there is within this unit. Whoa, that's freaking nuts! But are there other members I should know about? As a matter of fact, yes! And there are other freaks that are reformed from the past after being frozen like you did. Your assistance is appreciated. Whoa, so did you too? Where'd you guys even come from? They got in the building when the intruder alarm goes off, so they can fight the intruder. Thankfully they did your job of getting rid of that robot, but you did your best at least. So yeah, the new guy, huh? 
I heard a lot about you when you saved that scout from the blue team back at the old Earth. Pretty sick powers you got there, bro. Thanks, man. Wait a moment, did Sobe told you what happened at the old Earth? Every scout within the red team knows you since you saved that guy in old Earth. You're like a true hero to that guy and within the red team. You're famous to them, bro. Really? I'm famous to the red team of every galaxy? That's freaking crazy. I mean, I've been frozen in time within many years and now I'm getting famous for saving that scout. This is nuts. Alright, man. Don't get overexcited over this. I mean, you'll get used to it when you're one of us, man. I mean, a lot of us have to deal with fans since we are heroes after all. Like superheroes. Alright, whatever you say, man. I hate to break this conversation, but we have a bigger problem. There is another robot, and this time it's a spy. So we'll look around and find the spy bot and destroy him or just take him there. Direct the spy. Thank God you are here. I have seen the spy bot around this building. What? Where is the spy bot? Did he already cloak or disguise himself? Not yet, thankfully. But he went this way. All of you follow me and now stay close with the director. This way. I do, I do not, not trust, trust this at all. all. Wait, Wait a, a moment. moment. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Director Spy, watch out! Ah! <gasps> what, what the hell, the hell is, this? is this? The, the spy, spy that took him here was a spy bot all along? Wait a moment. Now, now I recognize him. him. The, the spy that came here weeks ago was not a freak. He was a robot. How the hell did this robot stay undetected for so long? Ugh! Damn it! You ruined my plan to backstab him! How the hell do you know I was a spy bot? Well, it's simple. I've just seen your blade out of your shirt sleeve. Another thing, it's not stealthy when you are going to backstab him in front of us, dumbass robot. Hey! Do not call me a dumbass! You're the dumbass, you idiot human! I'll seriously make you- Make me what? Make me suffer? I don't think so. Like I said before, I'll make sure that this building is robot free. And I'll make sure that you'll squeal like the robot pig you are! Hey yo, pause on that part man. That sounds pretty sus. Wait a moment, Dragon Hunter. That spy bot was a thief that was here weeks ago. However, I won't stop you from destroying him, but if you choose to spare him, we will take him in. Alright, Spybot. If you want to live, then you'll be placed in custody with the HECU. Forget what I said before. I think it's right to just turn you in so you will give back the stolen valuables from here. Wait. I thought you were going to make me squeal like a pig. How pathetic of you to not fight me or do anything to me. I did not say I'm not going to do anything to you. But I will have you secured so you won't escape. I may have spared you, but I'm not that dumb to just let you go with no cuffs or anything to make you stay put where you are now. Now just shut up and stay still. This won't hurt. Stay still? Wait, what are you going to- ah! What the heck? Ah! Ooh, interesting. Ah, oh, man. There, that will keep you still and secured, just until security arrives. Well, that was not necessary. What? Thank you for saving my life. Ugh. Oh, my head. Ugh. Dragon Hunter, are you alright? <sighs> yeah. Even so, I didn't use my powers that much like I did before. I still feel dizzy. Whoa! What the hell just happened? He was not like that when he changed back earlier. I'd have believed that due with him not using much of his powers, he avoided being crystallized. But he will still feel the side effects of his powers, such as dizziness and headaches, of course. He should be fine for now. Whoa! So his powers has a side effect that would crystallize him to the point where he would be a statue? Or even worse? Affirmative. Holy crap! That's insane! Well, Jacket Hunter, you may have disobeyed my orders to stay in the office, but you did save my life twice in a row. Normally for disobeying my orders, I would punish you, but I won't. For the first time, I have not seen a freak that would show their courage and loyalty to save a life. Well, Director Spy, I just did it because I thought it was the right thing to do. Well, either way, I am glad that you saved my life. As for that, I am in your debt. We are glad to have you in our Freak Fighter Division, my friend. You will make an amazing fighter. Really, Director Spy? You really think that I could be an amazing fighter in your Freak Fighter Division unit? But of course, Dragon Hunter. Normally other Freaks that are powerful can become evil from using so much power. But you have something that they do not have. Humanity. And with that, you still have the good side within you. Well, Solding also told me that already, so I already know that. But I am honored to be at your service, sir. Well then, it is settled. When we get your papers signed, you are much welcome in a Freak Fighter Division unit. Thank you, Director Spy. And I promise to not let you down and fight against evil to save the universe. You can count on me doing that, sir. I'm sure you will, Mr. Dragon Hunter. I'm sure you will. <laughs> <laughs> 
and with me saving the directors twice, I impressed them enough to have me join the Freak Fighter Division Unit, but I will still sign up for it first. With that being said, another story done, another adventure awaits me in the future. I learned from that day that robots can be bad guys at this time. Even so, Manco have issues with Grey Men's robots, these robots are much smarter than I saw from my time. Whoever programmed that robot must be against the Freak Fighter Division Unit, but that won't stop me from fighting evil robots or any evil freaks that are within every universe in this time that I have awakened. I made a promise to fight evil and do good for every universe. So with that being said, I'll sign off this narration. This is Dragon Hunter, signing out. PEACE! Captain Demo, we have the signal for the Blue Tart's Blue Team ship. We do believe it's now near our ship's radar signal. A Blue Team ship, huh? Are they preparing to battle us? I'm not sure, but the radar shows that the Blue Team ship is coming right at us in warp speed. Within an hour, it will be at our location. This could be a sign that the Blue Team wants a fight. Is that so? Well, the Blue Team would never do such a thing like this before. This could be some sort of new strategy to lower the Red Team's number down. This news is very serious indeed. We must prepare ourselves before they strike. Permission to deploy the mech robots to slow them down, sir. Affirmative, android soldier. Permission is granted. Prepare for Operation Blue Heavy Ship Takedown. I'll give the signal and you check on the project on the deplorable mechs we have. Thank you for the support, android soldier. We shall let you know when the plan is ready. Now dismiss. Sir, yes sir! Alright men, listen up. A blue team ship is heading this way to destroy us all. Prepare for Operation Blue Heavy Ship Takedown. Deploy all available fighter ships and have them deploy the mech robots on the blue ship. That is an order. Yeah! yeah! Pilot Scout and Engineer, are you ready? Pilot Scout here. Fighter Ship 1 is ready for battle. Pilot Engineer here, partner. Fighter Ship 2 is ready for battle like a bow on a rodeo. But sir, the mech robots are just prototypes. They have not been tested, so we don't know whether they should be capable in battle or not. You can't just send out the prototypes and just- Enough! Are you in charge of this? Are you? Well, no. What? Exactly. Now, enough of this interruption. Mech builder engineer, what kind of stuff you put in the mech robot? And how would they be deployed without causing the fighter ships to slow down? I'm truly glad you asked, partner. The Red Heavy Fighter Mech Robot is equipped with anti-personal annumation cannons with built-in grenade launchers as different annumations. Well, just two animations types at least. Deploying the Mech Robot without adding weight to the fighter ship is simple. The Mech is inside of a toolbox-like container that will build the Mech much more, more quicker than the eye. The best part about this Mech? It runs on good old-fashioned fusion energy. Or may run on diesel fuel. Whichever the case, the Mech is a hybrid type, which gets the job done and is a great way to keep the space environment clean. A hybrid type, huh? Well, I'm not the type to judge those with environmentally friendly technology. But whichever gets the job done, nice work there, engineer. If we pull this mission off, then we shall drink to celebrate. Hold on, sir. What if Scout was right about the prototype X? What if they fail him, I don't know, on a function or something? Should we be worrying about that and just plan to get to a set place, sir? Pyro, there are things in war we must do in these times like this. Either we fight of what we got or surrender. And this red team, we never surrender. So we will do what we can to stop the blue army before they cause trouble. Besides, I think you should be focusing on what is happening now and not the future. Even if Scott was right, you shouldn't even think about it. So, no more interruptions for now on. Any more interruptions from you and Scout? Then you both will be on bathroom duty within the next month. Is that understood? Sorry, yes, sir. Very good. Now, what was I? Oh yeah. The people who will control both prototype mech robots will be at the robotics lab. Everything that the mech records will be recorded in the lab's computer. For now, 
This meeting is done. Dismiss! My lord, I made more crystals to make this ship more comfortable for you. Is there anything else I can do now? Not at the moment, Scout. You may rest for now. For a servant, you are quite annoying, but useful for making this ship like my home from long ago. Ever since I turned you into my crystal servants, things are more quiet here. However, I had a feeling that something was... missing. What was it? Ah, yes. An army of some kind. If your friend has not escaped from this ship, things would be a lot different from here. It's a shame that they have escaped. But, you would do much for me. For now, until we find some humans to transform them into my army. This may take some- Oof. Morning, speeding spacecraft detected. There it is, Scout! That's the Blue Army ship that they told us about. Let's get these Beck robots on there and let them do their thing and go back to our ship. Mech Robot 1 is ready. Mech Robot 2 is ready to go. On my count, we drop the Mech Robot. Ready? One, two, three, drop! Nice job, partner! We get the mech robots on the ship where the blue team won't notice it. Let's get back to our ship and let the mech robots do their thing. But should the blue army be alarmed by this and use their turrets by now since we are near their ship? I mean, this is just easy. Too freaking easy, as a matter of fact. Should we be worried? Don't worry, Scout. I'm sure their security system is total bull crap. Besides, our fighter ships are more quicker than an eye. In warp speed, at least. Now enough talking. Let's get back to the ship and celebrate our victory. Drinks on me. Scanning area. Area scanning complete. Warning. Enemy detected. So you robotic chuckleheads want to barge in like that, huh? Well, too bad for you both, because I'm gonna crystallize both of you until I see circuit boards and wires. Ah! Crystal servant? Just what in the hell is going on? What the hell? Mech robots? In my ship? Not only that, they defeated my crystal servant that easily? This is unacceptable. No matter. My crystal servants are turned into crystals after they are defeated. But I won't let these robots defeat me. These mech robots may have defeated my crystal servant, but they will never stand a chance against me. My powers are far more advanced than those robotic weapons and armor. If they want to fight, then I'll give them a fight. When I find out who sent these mech robots here, I'll make them pay and crystallize them. But first, time to send these mech robots to the scrapyard. <laughs> Robot scientist engineer, status reports on the mech robots. That is an order. Well, both mech robots are so far functional, but the cameras have detected an enemy from the scanners within inside the blue ship. But something is strange within the ship as well. Like if they have some sort of rocks or crystals or something. Either way, we can review the footage when the mech robots have done their mission and turn back into container mode until the recovery unit brings her back to our ship. Or another case, when the mech robots are destroyed. However, I highly doubt that these mech robots will be destroyed by the blue army of that ship. It will take a hell of an army with enough firepower to even take them down. Unless they have another mech robot with them. Men, status report on the mission. That's an order. The mech have been destroyed, sir. The other mech is also destroyed, sir. There was a blue scout, but we got him, but the spy was there too. But this spy is really different. When the spy disappeared, the cameras on the mechs went offline. Of course it had to be a spy! It's always spies! Every time! Alright, both of you are dismissed! Engineer, put up the footage, and let us review it! That's an order! Sir, yes sir! Now let's see what the mech robots have captured on camera! And how long do we have to wait until we get the footage? Now hold on there sir! It's unloading process now! This might take a few minutes or so! Of course it is! Even in the future times, some computers are just slow, or just don't work at all! That is true sir! But there are more advanced computers that are quicker than an eye. We just don't have the funds for it yet. So this is what we got for now. Ha! Huh. Point taken. Alright, if you say so, we'll just wait. Alright, the footage is up. Now, let's see the spy and- Ugh. What the Sam hell? Did that spy just teleport in front of our mech robots and sliced him up? How the hell did he do that? Can he be a freak or something? This is really worse than I thought. Sir, 
What do we do now? I'll let the captain know about this and have him call the HECU. Get ready. We have a serious freak problem within this galaxy. Don't wanna sleep in, cause I got something to prove I gotta take what I hate and finally make a move I think of you and all the shit you don't do Well I'ma make hella sure that I don't become you I have no regrets, yeah, I'm tired of my chest I'll never forget what it's like to be in debt Been stabbed in the back, bed. I show you what happens Pass me the mic and I'll show you with action I feel this pain, you already know Turn that to games, let my money show I've got these things that I can't let go Watch me turn this life into something that you can never own I feel this pain, you already know Turn that to games, let my money show I've got